welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm doing my August TBR and you may ask, uh, isn't it a bit too late for a TBR? Um, maybe. Uh, as I'm filming this it's the 5th of August. Um, you will be watching it uh, a couple of days from now probably. Um, but I haven't done my August TBR yet and Mainly because I've been reading a 500 page book that I've been carrying over from July, so I hadn't really needed uh, a TBR for now. But now it's I have like 30 pages left of a book I think, so it's finally time to make my August TBR. Now, uh, what I usually do when I'm deciding on my TBR for a month is I use um, this TBR jar to pick out my physical reads. Um, I don't usually do a TBR for my audiobooks, I will just pick those at random. Uh, but I do like to have a set TBR for my physical reads because I'm just not really a mood reader. I need to have a plan, I need to know what I'm reading next. Um, and I just and I enjoy uh, picking out my reads for the next month. So. Uh, I have my TBR jar here. I realize this is not like a unique way on booktube to pick your TBR. Um, lots of people do this. But I always enjoy watching those videos. And uh, maybe one day I'll be able to come up with um, like, like a fun TBR game thing that many people are doing these days. Um, but for now I'm just gonna use, use this jar. Uh, I've been using it for a while. Um, before I started this channel, but I actually haven't used it for the last few months, so I can't remember what's in here. Um, these are prompts, by the way. These are not like uh, uh, certain books or anything. Uh, each of these uh, slips of papers contain a reading prompt, and I will have to find a book for that prompt. Um, my plan for today is to pick out like um, four or five reads for next month. Um, I'm not a very fast reader, so four or five books a month uh, is usually what I can do, um, depending on the length of the book. Um, and I also might be doing a readathon this month, I haven't quite decided yet. Uh, so if I'm doing that, obviously one week is going to uh, be spent on that. So I think four or five uh, books is like a good number to pick out for now. So let's just open this jar. Um, it's all these uh, yellow papers in here. You probably can't see it that well. I might have to upgrade this one, but we're going to use it for now. Um, so let's just pick out my first prompt. Um, let's go with... Uh, I think I... Oh, this. Okay, this is a title starting with a specific letter. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, probably not. But it's a title starting with a specific letter, which means that I'm going to use like a genera, uh, what's it called? A generator, a random generator, and I'm going to pick up the letter and I'm going to read a book starting with that letter. So I have my phone here and I'm just gonna use a random letter generator and I'm gonna figure out which kind of letter my book will start with. So let's just generate. Oh, I got an X and I'm just gonna say right away I don't have any books starting with an X so I'm just gonna try this again. Okay. The next number I got was an E. So I'm gonna go check my shelf and see if I can find a book starting with an E. So I've had a look at my bookshelves and for the first prompt to read a book starting with the letter E, uh, I couldn't actually find uh, a physical book for that. Um, I had one but um, I wasn't really in the mood I guess to read it this, this month. So I went to my ebooks. Um, as I mentioned in my uh, newbie book tag, I have 
so many ebooks on my Kindle that I need to get to at some point. So I figured I may as well pick one from there. And the book that I decided to go with was a book called uh, Ends of the Earth by Kira Andrews. And that is a male-male romance and that is pretty much all I know about it. Uh, I've read something from Kira Andrews before. I read a no uh, novella of hers which I quite liked, so I'm excited to give this second book a go. Let's pick out our second prompt for August. Let's do this one. Whoa, it's a science fiction. For this prompt I decided to go with Record of a Space One Few by Becky Chambers. Um, this is a science fiction. Uh, it's the third book in a series or companion novels, I guess. Um, I really enjoyed the first two. Um, I think I gave both. I think I gave the first one maybe 4.5 stars and the second 4 stars. Really enjoyed both of them, so I'm excited to get to this third book. It's time for our third reading prompt for August. I'm just gonna mix these together and I'm gonna pick out this one. Oh, it's acquired in 2018. So basically I'm gonna read a book that I acquired in the year of 2018. For this prompt I've decided to go with the Diviners by Lipa Bray. Um, I've definitely had this on my shelf since 2018. I've had it for a while. I've been meaning to read it for a while. Um, it's a series that I heard so many good things about. Uh, I'm, exo I'm so excited to try it for myself. I think I'm really going to like it. Uh, and I have the second book on my shelf as well and I've had that one almost as long so it's definitely time I got started on this series. So, it's time for our fourth part. Let's just um, take this one and just see what it is. Wow, okay. It's acquired in 2019 or later. So basically, for me that means a pretty new book because I have books that are so old that when it's when I acquired it in 2019, I consider it new. So I'm gonna read a book acquired in 2019 or later. So for this prompt, I had quite a few op options to go with, um, and I had a hard time deciding. But I think I'm going to go with this one, Siggy, Stardust, and Me by James Brandon. Uh, I can't remember when I got this. It was either early this year or late last year, but it was definitely uh, 2019 or later. Uh, I don't know much about this. I know that it's queer. I think it's got a male male romance or something. And I think it's set in the 70s, so it's a bit of a historical fiction actually. Um, I haven't heard a lot of this a lot about this on booktube so I'm pretty curious to find out what I'll think about. So let's pick out a fifth prompt. Um, I'm gonna go with... Oh, this glass is kind of small. Um, this one, it's a... Okay, this is a wide one. It's a... Oh, can you see this? Male author. So, I'm gonna go pick out a book written by a male author. And finally, for the prompt to read a book by a male author, I, I've decided to go with one that I've also had for quite a while. Um, I don't know anything about it. It's uh, a book that uh, I found in a used store like several years ago. And it's a Norwegian one. Um, it's this one, it's called Flytande Björn uh, by Frode Gritten. Um, it's not too long um, and it's in origin, so I think it's not gonna take me that long to read. 
uh, but yeah, I have no idea what this is, so I just figured I've had it so, so long, it's time I get to it, so I'm gonna try and get to it in August. So, these are the books I'm going to try and get to in August. Like I said, I might participate in a readathon, um, and if I do, I will probably try and get some of these books to fit, and I also may add a few other ones. Uh, but yeah, this is my August TBR. I am excited. I'm hope hoping I'm going to like this. It's a bit of everything. It's a bit of fantasy or paranormal, I guess, uh, sci-fi, historical, queer fiction, and Norwegian book that I literally know nothing about. So I guess that's it for now. Um, I plan to be back soon with another bookish video and I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you soon.